Hey, hey, everybody, Z Garcia here, and today we're going to be gathering the kids in the neighborhood and we're going to be performing some uh, dark rituals in Let's Summon Demons. <laughs> Let's Summon Demons here is part of a trilogy of games. These three games right here. I'll be covering all three of these, so make sure you check out the videos for the other two. But this one here is a game in which we are going to be uh, collecting souls, spending those souls for characters, boys and girls, and animals, and then eventually trading those in to summon the aforementioned demons. Whoever manages to get three of these demons first and have ten souls in the bank is going to win the whole thing. Very simple, dice-driven game. Let me show you how it works. In the game, everyone begins with a candle here in front of them. So you've got all these candles. And then we're gonna uh, shuffle up the deck, reveal five of those. We shuffle up the demon deck, and everybody gets three of those. To win, you have to summon three demons and have ten souls. And we begin with five of these souls, okay? And the game is very simple. On your turn, you're gonna take both dice, you're gonna roll them. You're going to activate anything that activates on that sum total. So six, seven, eight. My candle activates on nine, 10, and 11. And then they tell you what they do. They give you one soul, okay? So if somebody else had a different candle that activates on an eight, like whoever had this candle, it would activate. Even on my roll, it activates, okay? And then once that's done, I have two optional steps. So I have to roll the dice. Then I may acquire a new card, spend three souls, and you can acquire a card. I'm going to take this this uh, cat right here, put that in front of me. And then second thing I can do optionally is I can summon a demon, which is I give up three of the boys, the girls, or the animals, any combination of three of those. And that lets me bring out one of these demons right here, okay? And the demons are going to have either an ongoing effect like this one, which has the infinity symbol, or an activated effect. Now, they only work when I roll them. So this four only happens if I'm the one rolling the dice. Once I'm done, we'll, you know, replenish that. Dice go to the next person. They roll. That's a seven. Hey, look at that. My cat activates. It says, discard the top card of the block deck. If it's an animal, I gain it. Great. Let's see. Uh, it is not an animal, so I don't gain it. And ever, this continues with you gathering these cards in front of you. Again, three souls for these, three of these for one of these. Get three demons out first and have ten souls. When you do that, both of those things at the same time, you immediately win the game. That's all there is to it. As you can hopefully tell, this is a very tongue-in-cheek silly game uh, with, uh, you know, this juxtaposition between the sort of retro look and vibe and, uh, you know, style and a very ridiculous over-the-top theme slapped on top of that, right? And that's the that's the idea for, for all three of these games. So let's go ahead and break it down starting from the top. The theme. I think for me the theme among all three of these, I think uh, this one's the most ridiculous because it's the most immediately unbelievable, most irreverent, right? Uh, the title, the illustration on the cover, and what these neighborhood kids are doing is just unbelievably beyond, uh, you know, laugh out loud sort of ridiculous. So I think it's great. I really like the theme here. I could see some folks having a problem with this theme. It is the most dark of all three of these. So be aware of that. But you don't need me to tell you that. You, you, you can tell right away if this is not something that you're going to like because of its theme. The aesthetics are excellent has round cards. They work surprisingly well. Card quality is superb. I mean, they are really good linen finish cards. The dice are very nice. And then the only issue I have is that the little soul counters are very small. Not quite problematically small, just very tiny. So that's the only thing. The replay value, pretty good. Uh, the, the fact that you are doing some combo building in the game that you have to manage what numbers you have, what, what you're likely to hit on and make something. The fact that so many cards will interact with what else is in front of you means that next time you sit down and play at the table based on what's out there, based on what cards you, you, you were dealt, the three demons you're supposed to summon, what you were dealt, you can 
form a new and different plan, so the replayability stays nice and high. The game mark is a little weak sometimes. It's not as reliable as I would like it to be. I've had games of this that just work really well. The, the curve of building up, of getting better and better, is very smooth. Sometimes it's a little clunky at the beginning. Sometimes the players have their five souls they begin with, so you'll be able to buy something, right? But the dice rolling might give you a few turns where you're just not generating. You're not doing anything that gives you forward momentum. So it's a little sketchy, that, uh, uh, that game arc. Sometimes it also sort of ends very quickly, where you go and you build up and end it, and that's it, and that felt a little anticlimactic. Ease of play. Nothing hard to understand here, very smooth, uh, quick turns. You are involved on other people's turns, which I think also reduces the downtime in the game. You always feel like you're paying attention, watching for what you should be collecting or doing, so that's very good. And then lastly, tactics, luck, and strategy, and it's surprisingly um, strategic. Like I said, there's combos. There are things you are trying to do. I also really like that in this game, for you to get closer to winning, meaning, you know, you have to summon the three demons, you have to do that three times, for you to do that, to make one of those steps, means you might be wrecking your engine a little bit, right? Your, you know, your sort of uh, production engine. Because you have to destroy three cards in front of you to bring out a demon. So, it, I, I like the idea of that sort of self-correcting. As you take a jump forward and get, you know, a third of the way towards winning, or more or less a third of the way towards winning, there's some key element you maybe had to give up in your strategy, right? This card scores, gives you souls based on how many girls you have. Yeah, but now you got to give some up. So it's going to become weaker and you're going to have to climb back up as you gather new things and then you can trade those in for uh, another demon. So I like that. It works pretty well. You know, it's very interesting. So there you go. Very small package, very ridiculous theme, but a pretty good game in this box. Surprisingly good. I, I enjoy playing this one. I think it is. It gives me good laughs. I think the laughs will die down as you become familiar with what's in here. But I think when that happens, the game at play that remains behind is going to keep me playing this. I happily play this because the gameplay in there is, is solid. It works well. So for me, this one's actually my favorite of the three. If you were only going to pick up one of these, I would say get this one. As long as you enjoy sort of the irreverent theme and all of that. Uh, and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. So this is going to get a seal of approval. I do recommend this one. If you enjoy games of this style, games like Space Space, Bad Company, uh, Machi Koro, this is another one in that type of game that is a contender. I could see somebody's favorite in that, you know, in that sort of line up numerical things and try to, you know, hit them with your dice. I could see someone, you know, having this one as their favorite among all of those. It's not quite my favorite among all of those games. Those are excellent games all. But this is fun. So there you go, everybody. Let's Summon Demons 8 out of 10. That's going to do it for me. Make sure you check out these two videos as well. My name is Z Garcia. I'll see you on the next one.